Hey guys, it's Take a Bite here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update and add DLC to any Wii U game for Simu. With the latest version of 1.7.3, the Simu devs have officially added support for DLC and updates, and it is now far easier than it was before. Without further ado, let's get right into this. To do this, you're only going to need to have Simu 1.7.3 or later, Wii U USB helper, the ROM of whatever game you want to update, and a link to a title key site for Wii U games. Unfortunately, I can't link that site in the description, but it will be the first result if you google Wii U title keys. I will have the link to everything else in the description. Once you have everything downloaded that you're going to need, start by double clicking updater.exe and you're just going to want to run it. Now it's going to ask where you want to install it, so for my sake I'm going to go to this PC, my drive, emulation, and Wii U updates. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to ask you to click run again and just let it do its thing. Now once that finishes, it's going to ask where you want to store the downloaded games. So again, I'd just put it in the same folder that you had before. And I'm just going to make a new folder here and I'm going to call it downloads. Then after that, these windows are going to pop up down here, and it's going to ask you to put a link for the Wii U title keys. Now, like I said, I can't really show you what that is right now, but I'll add it and then I'll show you what comes up after that. Once you add in the title key link, you're going to be greeted with this huge array of a bunch of different Wii U games. So, to start off, I'm going to search for the game I want to update, and in my case, that's going to be Mario Kart 8. So, let's look up Mario Kart 8, and you'll have it right here. So. Start by clicking add DLC and it will add it to your download queue over here and then you also want to add updates because the DLC won't work without updates. Now always go with the latest update in Mario Kart 8's case that's V64 so just click check and then OK. Now you'll have both of these in your download list here and all you're going to want to do is go to download games. Now the next thing you have to do is go to unpack and decrypt. Once again, this is going to pop up asking where you want the decrypted files to be stored, and I'm going to go this PC, my drive, emulation, and just in the same folder that I had before, I'm going to make a new folder, call it decrypted games. Hit OK. And then this is going to take a little bit of time depending on your download speed, but it's going to be downloading all of these files, and then at the end, a new thing is going to pop up and it will show you that it's decrypting the games. Now I'll let this run its course and I'll come back when it's done. Now once that finishes, this window will pop up saying now unpacking. You just want to let this finish and once it's done, a new dialog box will pop up and you'll be done with this whole process. Once that's completed, you can just hit OK and now you'll be done with the Wii U USB helper. When you're done with the Wii U USB helper, you're going to want to go to simu.exe and you just want to launch it, go to file, load, and you want to load the game you're updating. So in my case, Mario Kart 8, it's going to be turbo.rpx or whatever format you have the game in. Now let's wait for the shader to compile. Then as soon as it loads up, you can close it out and you want to go to your log.txt file. And as you can see right here, there's this path. And this path is going to be really important for us. So to start off, you're going to want to copy what's right after title. Then you want to go to MLC01, user, title. Then here you're going to want to make a new folder. And you want to name the folder what it said in your log.txt file. So paste that in. And then the same goes for the subfolder. You want to go to your log.txt you're going to want to copy what it says. Go here, paste it in, and then just keep this folder open. And you want to go back to where you have your decrypted games, and you want to start with the update data. So come in here, and there should be three folders. You want to make sure that you copy all three of these, and then go back to your root folder in here. Now you want to paste these three folders, and it shouldn't take too long, it all depends on the size of the update. Once all that's done, you're going to want to make a new folder in here, and it's going to be called AOC, and that stands for Add-on Content. Now you want to go inside that folder, and you want to go back to where you have your decrypted games. Back out, and then now you got to get your DLC files. 
let's open that up again you should have these three folders in here copy those go back to your AOC folder and you want to paste those in and now you just have to wait for this to transfer and then you're good to go and once that's done you can go back to your root simu folder and just run simu you can go to file load your game and now everything should be updated now let's just wait for that shader cache to compile Now as you can see, in the bottom left corner, it says version 4.1. Let's load it up, go to single player. And now right down here, see we have all the DLC characters unlocked. So let's go with Dry Bowser. We've got the DLC cars in here, the Mercedes, all of those. Let's just get that going. Okay. And now all of these DLC tracks are unlocked as well. So just to verify that it works, let's go, I don't know, let's go Excite Bike Arena, okay? Now as you can see, Simu is running the DLC perfectly, no slowdowns or anything. And along with having Dry Bowser in here, you can see there are other DLC characters, such as Tanuki Mario over here. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Also, if you have any questions or problems, please leave a comment below. I plan to continue making Simu content in the future and hopefully cover Xenia or RPCS3 as those continue to make excellent progress. Simu continues to make strides none of us could have ever expected, and I'd like to remind you guys to please support the devs via Patreon or even contribute by helping update the compatibility lists. That's all for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.